Hey guys, Zach Watt Touch Helping here, and today, as promised, I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable multitasking, like that. And also, I'm going to be showing you how to get uh, home screen wallpapers on your iPod Touch second generation and iPhone 3G on 4.0 firmware. So, you guys know that that's not enabled in the normal 4.0 firmware. But now that the new jailbreak is out, we can go get that. So if you haven't seen my jailbreak video, go check it out. It's in the video description down below. And also, there's an annotation right up here in the top right corner. You can just tap that thing right there, and you can go to that video. Now I'm going to show you guys what it's like, so I'm going to open up Cydia. So now that Cydia has loaded up, we're going to go into the search, because we don't need to add any new sources, and we're going to download two things. Um, number one is Winterboard. So you do have to have Winterboard, so search winter board and there it is right there you guys will need to have that downloaded but pretty much everyone should already have that because that's one of the main things when you first jailbreak your iPod you should get the second thing is called features F E A T U and there we go features for iPod touch 2G or features for iPhone 3G so depending on what you have you're gonna download the right one if you have iPhone 3G obviously you download that one iPod touch 2G users download this one so I have downloaded the iPod Touch 2G one, and this does work for MBM MC models. And you just download it, click the home button, and go open up Winterboard now. And you're just going to want to make sure, so click select themes, and you get all these different things from this one right here all the way to the top one. So basically what home screen wallpaper is, is home screen wallpaper. It's as easy as that. Multitasking, you guys know what that is. Percentage battery only, you can add a percent up there in the top right hand corner if you want for your battery percent. Unified iPod, I don't like that, but what it is, it's an iPod folder or an iPod app, sorta, of, and inside that is the music and videos, I believe. And you can then you can just click all those ones to like do both. So I clicked wallpaper and multitasking and percentage battery only. And then you just click the home button, respring, and then turn it back on. And you should have multitasking, just like that. And I'll prove to you guys that uh, the changing of your wallpaper does work. So I'll open up settings here. Settings is really early right now. I haven't even eaten breakfast or anything. <laughs> so now that settings is opened up, we scroll down until we see wallpaper, which is right there. You click on it. You click. You can choose between wallpapers and save photos. Uh, I'll just click save photos, and I'll put in. Which one should I put in? I'll just put in that one for some reason. I'll set it, set to home screen, or I'll set both, just to show you guys that this works. Click the home screen, and now I have a nice custom wallpaper, uh, or home screen wallpaper, and I turn it on, and there we go. So thanks for watching guys, Apple Touch helping here. If you didn't watch my last jailbreak video, please go check it out. And I'll catch you guys later. It's the easiest jailbreak ever. You just open up Safari, go to jailbreakme.com, and it jailbreaks your iPod. So peace. You guys know who it was. Please give this video a thumbs up, favorite it, and subscribe. Uh, then please follow me on Twitter, up there on the top left corner. Follow me at twitter.com slash itouchhelping. And please subscribe to my three other accounts, which are on the bottom there. I have three different accounts. One, iRandom Recordings, iPod App Reviewing, and Helping with Tech. So I'd really appreciate if you guys would subscribe to my other channels. And also, if you guys missed my last video, click that little box right there and go to my last video. Thanks for watching, guys. This was iPod Touch Helping, and I'll catch you guys later.